Good afternoon, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about problem one of 2023 February Yoseko contest, the platinum level. This problem is hungry cow. Basically, you have our former John will put some hay bales to for Bessie to eat it. On day D, he will put a delivery of B hay, hay bales. Then each day, Bessie will eat one hay bale. Right. So if you have three there, for example, in this on day four, you have three hay bales, then day four, day five, day six, right? He basically eat one hay bale each day, then hay bale is done in this case. So the question is, what is the sum of all the days Bessie can eat hay bales? And of course, modulate it like that. So, and then, yeah, they give you two examples and uh, give you some scenarios, right? So we all know scenario goes from easy to most difficult. So the first scenario is the U is less than 5,000. U is the update, right, the query. Right? Um, number two is only increase number of hay bales each day. Number three is, of course, no uh, restrictions. So this tells you there's something going on between if you only increase, was your increase and the decrease. OK. So they need a sum of all the days which basically eat the hay bales. So that could be done. We know that can be done easily by uh, a segment tree, right? So if you look at the limitation of U and, right? So if you look at the limitation of U and 1E5 and all those things, obviously you need, uh, oh, let's say U log D or log, either log D or log B type of solution. Right? It could be maybe squared, something like that. That's the way you need to look at it. So let's look at the first problem. So if we we need the sum of number of days, so we could easily build a segment tree for this. So let's say I have day. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So in the first case, on day four, I put the three hay bales. So basically four, five, six. You know, if I have a segment tree, I can easily do a lazy update, right? So each one is one, 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 and all other are zero, 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 right? So I can just do, you know, on the top root note, it just sound of those days which have ones, right? So that's easy. So the second case in day one, I put a five. So I need to put one, two, three. Okay, so here I already have it. So I need day seven, day eight. So one, one, okay. So, um, then I sum this up, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so it's 36. So then in the third case, in the th on one day one, it's actually not five anymore, it's day two, right? It says update the number of hay bells arriving on day D to B. So it's not this anymore, it's actually, so we need to take this, Right, instead of updated to here, to this case, which is, I need to update it to a different case, which is one, one, the case is zero, and this is one, one, one. 
Okay, so it's one, two, four, five, six. So that's um okay. So the I need to somehow remove this. Okay, I need to somehow remove this and then add this back. So let's look at the first case. Update only increase the number of hay bells arriving on day T. So you never have this case, you decrease. So that's easy, right? So that is basically a standard lazy update, right? Uh, divide and conquer, right? So for example, in day in the from here to here, in day one, right? In day one, you need five. You need you, you know you know you need to update five of them. And from here, you know you only have, if you go down here, you know you only have on the left branch, right? Do you have five empty space? No, you only have three empty space. So you update three and you push two here, right? So that's how this, you know, in because it's only increase, for example, your next time if it's day one have seven, you know you have five, you add two more, you know, then here is all four, then you add two more there. Right, so that's very easy. The question becomes, what do I do if I have to remove this and add this back? That's, can I do a decrease? You know, so the first, the easy approach, let's say a easy approach is instead of up, up, add to, can I reduce, can I minus five? You know, in, so for example, from here to here, from here to here, can I do minus five? Minus five means I'm removing from this side, oh, there's two ones here. But how do I know this one is different? Let's say, how do I know this one is different color from this one, right? In other words, how do I know those are coming from this query of, one five. How do I know that? How do I know this is here and this is from you know four three? I can't keep track of those, right? So I can't do that. So if you just imagine, see what I just did here, I took from here and I go there. So the correct way, right? So the correct way is initially I have this segment tree, right? I have this segment tree, zero, 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 one, one, one. Then I update it to a segment tree, which is one, 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 right? And then I have the original one, one, one here, and then I have one, one, right? So then the, but here I actually need to update the segment tree to something, to starting from here, because this number, so why I need to do that? Because it's one, two, the two is less than five, right? So basically for every, for the D, I, K, I, if this is smaller than the one before, then I need to take a previous one. I do one, one, so I update it to zero, one, one, one. Then I do my sum easily. What is this tree, if you remember? This is called the persistent segment tree, right? So if we go back to our um, Yosako Platon, Yosako guide, Benjamin Chi's Yosako guide, that go to the advanced level. Unfortunately, this is not just a Platon level. It's a advanced level, if you go to persistent data structure, okay? So this explains what is a persistent segment tree. Okay, the concept of persistent segment tree, remember we actually used the persistent segment tree in 2016, December contest when we built a robot, right? If you remember that problem was for a robot, robot have like three com multiple components, right? So for example, this has three components, each component have a different cost, right? So then how many, you know, if I want to build 
let's say three or four or five robots, what's the cheapest of five robots that can build, right? So that's what we did. So if I just remind you how we did that is first we, you know, we take right the cheapest robot I can build is take the cost of one from here, cost of two from here, cost of three from here, right? So I take cost of one, two, one, I build a segment tree, right? The cost of that is four. The next I find, the next cheapest one is I find what are smallest increment. For this one is one to three is two. From here is one to one is one. From here is one to three is two. So in this, in my segment tree, right? I have the smallest cost on my leaf. I record the two things. What is my smallest cost? And then what is my smallest increment? Right. So this one, the next increment is two. Right. So that's the next increment is one. This is my delta, right? This one, my next increment is two. So obviously I need to go to this branch. Okay. So on, but I don't want to recopy the tree, right? So what we did was and remember it's I have this tree one, two, one, right? And it's delta is two. One, two, right? So this is my cost. This is my next delta, right? So I take, so I build a second. So let's say this is my tree one. Then what my tree two looks like is my, it's, I need to update this branch, right? So, so what I need to get to is one, right? One, three, one. That's my next robot, right? I update this branch by one. But I don't want to completely rebuild the segment tree, which is too costly. So that means if I look at it, I need to update this branch. Okay, so I update this branch to a new one. This branch, I don't need to update. So I'm just pointing back, you know, it's a pointer, right? I just pointed back, oh, here is this one. Then at here, I need to update this branch. And this branch, I don't need to update. So I'm just pointing to the original, right? And this one is cost of, is three now. Then the next one, right? If it costs three, the next one, the cost is zero. Additional cost is zero, right? The additional delta is zero. So instead of rebuilding, the whole segment tree, I only need to rebuild one branch, right? So that is only log n, right? Only a log n update. So that's the idea of a persistent segment tree, okay? So we talked about this in 2016. Uh, if you don't remember it, go back, read the Benjamin Chi's persistent segment tree data structure issue and uh, you can revisit that problem. Okay, coming back to this, right? It's, so this is the same thing we need to do. So for each of those, um, for the ones with the same D, but a different case, right? So if mine is not, like in this case, if, if, I have this new D is less than previous one. So I don't need a pre I can't use the previous one. That means I build a new segment tree here, but in this case, this branch, right? So this branch will be updated, right? Here will be updated. This I will keep the same, right? This I will keep the same, right? Here I will, I mean, here I will keep the same. Here I will update, right? So it's the same concept. Um, so you need to treat, of course you treat all the, when you have a little bit more difficult ones, you use uh, offline query concept first, right? You deal, you look at this first, so you sort it, then you deal with it, okay? Then that's basically a persistent segment tree problem. Um, there's one more optimization we should do. If you look at the Ds, 
D is from one to 10 to the power 14. So I don't want to build a tree, which is I am mean, having day one, all the way to day 10 to the power 14, right? that tree is too big. But the query is only one to 10 to the power five. Right. So, so basically the worst case is you, you pick each curious individual day, you only have 10 to the power five. So most of those are empty, are not used. So instead of using, you know, instead of leaf is one, two, three, four to 10 to the power 14, what you should do is you take this, for example, if I take this as an example, right? So what I should do is the, if you look at this, right, I you only use the day one and the day four. So I should have a first branch. First note is day one to three. This should be my first note. My second node should be my day four to 10 to power 14. That should be my second node. So in the node, I should just keep, right? So because I'm not going to have, because I don't have day two, right? I'm not going to update from day two. So if I feel anything, I have, I will feel from day one. So I just need to keep, you know, how much was filled, right? Then what's empty is the size minus the field. So I don't have to create. So for example, in this case, right? If I look at this day one, it becomes, zero is field, and in this case, three is field, right? Then in this case, sorry, in, in I, I mean in this case, right? Then in this case, is three is field, and the five is field. Then in this case, is two is field, three is field, right? So the sum, so you keep, also you keep the sum, right? The sum can be easily calculated, right? Just starting from here. How many from here to here, right? That's a that's a that's a mathematical formula, right? Um and plus one divided by two, right? So um that's that's a easy, easy calculation, right? So so that's one of the trick. I don't want to use build the big tree, right? I only build a small tree of like that. So by doing this. You basically have O U uh, log U, and then then but your your you build uh, this uh, persistent segment tree, right? So you potentially have you know U of those. The worst case is you have U segment segment trees, but each of them, you only update one branch, right? Each of them, you only, the first one you have OM nodes, I mean, two N, two N, N nodes, basically two N points. Each of them, you just update the log N nodes, right? So you update the U log N nodes. So that's your total memory size, right? So that's why they give you a little bit more memory size and they give you a little bit more time. That's basically the, the solution to the problem. Uh, you need to treat all those a little bit carefully, but the basic concept is you use the segment tree, um, persistent segment tree. Okay, so go read this. Um, I mean, you also use the lazy update if you can. Um, you don't have to um, because the time is six seconds. You don't necessarily have to use persistent set lazy update um, because we already played this trick. Um, you could use a lazy update plus persistent segment tree that will help you speed up a little bit uh, if necessary. So that's basically the concept. Go read those um, persistent segment tree uh, questions. And if you can remember, go back, read this uh, um, 2016, our class note on 2016 flattened problems.
So that's the first question. It's because it's a more February contest, right? It's a little bit more difficult now. So, but it's a very fun question. Um, next week, we will talk about problem setting. That's it for this week. Have a good weekend.